Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dr. Guy in the Heart Resetter. And today I just want to start off by saying thank you to everybody who's been following me on this journey ever since I've been back on YouTube. Shout out to all of you. Um, also, I want to tell you about my Facebook group. I created a private Facebook group to enhance the conversation because on YouTube, it's hard for me really to respond. On Instagram, it's hard for me to respond. And so I created a Facebook group where we can actually have dialogue. And so I do get in there and I talk to the people in there. I give my opinion but everybody else gives their opinion and it's just dialogue to help us uh, achieve healthy dating, healthy relationships, overcoming heartbreak. We talk about all those things. And so one of the biggest things that came out of me starting this group is that I realized that a lot of people want me to talk about how do you overcome heartbreak. And so for those reasons, I'm going to create a playlist on my YouTube page um, where it's devoted strictly to overcoming heartbreak. I'm going to still talk about the other stuff, the, the healthy dating, all of those things, but I'm going to create a playlist specifically for overcoming heartbreak. And so today I want to start off with one of the things that can hopefully help you overcome heartbreak and it's to let go of those things that create those memories of that person you're trying to heal from. And so if you have a song that the two of you listen to or a song that represents your relationship that whenever it comes on that it just automatically take you back to that place, then you have to take that off your playlist. Or if you have some clothes that they purchased you maybe during Valentine's Day, maybe during your birthday, maybe during Christmas, you may want to get rid of those clothes, especially if when you put those clothes on, you think about that other person. Um, also, if, uh, and let, let me speak about the clothes thing because I want to give y'all a personal situation. I had an ex who bought me a suit um, whenever I was in graduate school. She bought me a suit and that suit meant a lot because it was a random suit she bought me and during that moment, it was just a great moment when she bought it for me. But when we broke up, I kept the suit. And the problem is, is that I always associated that suit with her. And so in order for me to heal, I had to get to a point where I had to let that suit go. Because if I didn't, I was going to always think about those moments that, you know, we shared together when she bought me the suit. It was just such a great moment that that's where my mind went back to her. And so I had to get rid of that suit. And, and, and so I could grow. And so you have to let go of those things that create those memories. And to me, it's almost like we want to hoard things because we know if we let these things go, that we are letting the other person go. And some of you have pictures on Facebook that maybe they're not your newest pictures, but you have a folder somewhere on Facebook that maybe a few years back that still has pictures of you and that person in it. And you are afraid to delete them because you know if you delete those pictures that is deleting all of those good memories. Memories. And the thing is that those moment, those mementos usually create great memories. They paint great memories because those moments were great. When they bought you those clothes, that was a great moment. Whenever you had that song came on, that was a great moment. Um, whenever you look at those pictures, you probably took those pictures on a vacation, on a date, or some great moment that the, that the two of you shared. That's where your mind goes back to because that's the picture it paints. But what it doesn't paint usually are those moments that were the horrible moments that led to the breakup. And so we begin to forget those things that led to us not being together. And so if you always looking at the good moments, it's hard to heal from that. But if you get to a point where you move those out the way and then those good moments get to battle with those bad moments because now you can introduce those bad moments back because you're not only being reminded of the good moments, then you can realize why the situation didn't work out. You can realize why it's important for you to keep your eyes forward. And another thing is when you hoard things, you are filling up space that something else or somebody else could be occupying. And so for instance, when uh let's say pictures if you keep in those old pictures the thing is you could create new pictures and new memories with a new person but as long as you keep those old pictures around and you're not able to heal then you're not creating room and space mentally emotionally and spiritually for a new person to come into your life because you're bound to that old person and so you have to get to a point where you break free of that so you can clear your mind so that you can introduce a new person into your mind who has proven that they're worthy of being in your mind which ultimately Ultimately, your mind leads to what we call your heart because your heart is this organ. But in your mind, you can open your heart to a new person, but you can't open your heart until you clean out the clutter. And so you have to clean out the clutter for the newness. But if you're holding on to those things from the past that's creating all these good memories, then you're never going to leave the past. And we have to leave the past in the rear view. And my next video is going to be talking about that, the rear view mirror. But ultimately, the goal is to get you to a point where you don't feel the need to keep those things around because it creates these good memories. Um, because 
if it's over, it's over, and you have to accept that it's over. And a part of accepting that it's over is letting those things go, letting those memories go. It's okay. You're going to create new memories with that new person who fully values you, who really wants to be with you, and who wants to create those lifetime memories. Not those moments y'all had with that previous person, but lifetime memories. Those memories that you're going to be talking about when you're 80 years old saying, do you remember when we did this at 30? As opposed to these 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 uh, short-term memories that happened and that person ended up treating you badly. We hold it on to those things that don't last for a lifetime, but you could be hindering yourself from meeting that person that could give you the lifetime. I hope that makes sense. So as always, I just want to say thank you for uh, supporting me. Follow me on Instagram at Dr. Corey Guyton. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and also go join my Facebook group. So have a good one.